D-backs are tied for that final National League wild card spot right now. The Tampa Bay Rays entered a game and a half uh, out against the uh, Orioles. Slade Ciccone, a first round pick back in 2020, and today he is making his fourth career start. Rushman, 25 year old all star catcher. Rushman jumped on that one, a 3 1 fastball, and popped it up way up in the air. And Marte's got it for the first down. Here's Gunnar Henderson, the 2 2. Got him. That's the slider. That's the number two pitch for Slade, and it's a good one. The power threat in this lineup tonight, Anthony Santander. Santander shoots it into the gap in right center field. Carroll not going to be able to cut it off. It'll roll up to the wall, and Santander can cruise into second with another extra base hit. A double with two outs in the first. Ciccone ready, looks back at Santander. The pitch. Breaking ball, get to the right side. Over the field, it is Marte. Straightens up and throws to Walker for the out two on the inning. For the Orioles, right hander Kyle Bradish, 9 and 6. Big night for this young man. He's born in Peoria, a lifelong D backs fan, and now pitching on this mound for the first time in his life. Carroll with two hits in last night's game. And there's a nasty pitch. A slider strikes out Carroll to begin the Diamondbacks first. Cattell singled and scored to lead off last night's game. Marte lays off 97 up and in, and it's a one out walk ahead of Fan. And Bradish's second strikeout of the inning. He powers 96 by Tommy Pham. Here is Christian Walker. Out to left field. On comes Hayes, and he'll make it there. Two strikeouts and a flyout for Kyle Bradish, pitching in front of family and friends. Hayes leads Baltimore, 281 batting average. Gets this one up in the air, pretty deep right center field. Alec Thomas in pursuit. Alec runs it down. Boy, it's remarkable how often he gets right to where he needs to be. Thomas ran down, well hit ball by Austin Hayes out near the pool in right center field. It's a foot race. Arias charges and he's got no shot. Put it in the book. That's a knock. And down all the way. Not even a throw from Arias. So Alec gets into second, two outs for Jace Peterson. And he hits a roller to second. Frazier has it, throws to first, and that'll do the Diamondbacks here in the second inning. Into the windup, Ciccone in the 2 2 pitch. Lane Ciccone goes to his slider. He's got a pretty good one, too, and picks up his third strikeout. He's got three strikeouts and they've been on the slider. Ooh, Slade Ciccone's got a good slider going tonight. He's retired four in a row. He's got four strikeouts. Lead off walk surrendered by Kyle Bradish, and that will turn the lineup over to Corbin Carroll. Bradish knocks it down. Corbin Carroll is safe at first, and look at Perdomo sneak into third. Geraldo Perdomo heads up base running. He doesn't even hesitate. That's great base run. Outstanding. And they're on the corners with no outs. And Cattel Marte steps in. Marte chops it over everybody's head. Perdomo's home. Carroll's on the run. Marte into second. Hey, he's got the RBI double. And Cattell being very aggressive on the bases. That play right in front of him, and he decides to go for two. Got the makings of a big inning. And now with one away, Christian Walker, who had a two at home last night. Here's a 1 1 pitch. And that hitting. Walker hit by a pitch, and the bases are loaded. The batter's going to be Alec Thomas with the bases loaded and one out of the inning. Alec, it's a high bouncer. Henderson gets the out at second. Corbin comes home with a second diamond back run. That was close at second base. And Ryan O'Hurry gets the Orioles' third hand of the game, and he's a one out base runner for Austin Hayes. High chopper there. Gonna be a tough play for Peterson, and they won't get Hayes at first. An infield single for Austin Hayes and for the Diamondbacks. A little taste of their own medicine. And the Orioles had consecutive base runners for the first time. Cedric Mullins will bat in a big spot. And he cranks this one deep to right field. Carroll headed back. He'll watch it sail out of here. So for Mullins, three to two Baltimore, his 13th of the year. That's what he needed, and that's what his team needed. Four straight Oriole hits. Here's Adam Frazier, another Oriole trying to get it going right now. It is firm, and that is two towards the gap in right center field. 
tracked down by Thomas. Ramon's going to get the send around. They're going to throw the ball to third base instead and make it four straight hits for the Orioles off of Ciccone. They've made it four to two. James McCann, the batter. And going to the gap is McCann. The hit parade continues for the Orioles. It's up against the wall. Frazier is in. McCann is going to pump the brakes at second base. Five to two, Orioles lead. Now well, here's Rutschman who's trying for his first hit against Ciccone. And Rutschman sends one into right field. Carroll will cut it off. Here comes McCann around third base, making an RBI single for Adley, and the Orioles' offense just won't stop. It's a six-run fourth. The Orioles have seven consecutive base hits, and that will do it for Slade Ciccone. That hit by pitch in the right elbow, which is obviously his throwing arm. What a play by Cattell Marte. Beauty. Robs Ryan and Hearn of a base hit. Two up. Two down for Braddish here in the bottom of the sixth. The 3-1 pitch to Marino. Slow roller to shortstop. Henderson gobbles it up, takes his time, fires to first, got him. And a 1-2-3-6 for Kyle Braddish. Six complete in his return home. Will be the top of the order at Andy Rutschman. So we know the count against Rutschman. He'll send Whoa. this one a long ways to right field. Carroll on the track. He won't get it. And it's an Adley bomb in Arizona. A 7-2 Orioles lead. And for Adley, his first home run since August 10. D.L. Hall, the left-hander, just brought up from their Triple-A club at Norfolk. Hit it a long, long way. Goodbye. Beautiful pitch yeah. from D.L. Hall. A fastball <laughs> right at the knees. 3-2 coming, and there's the changeup. And a strikeout for D.L. Hall. Back-to-back -back Ks. And, Whoa, oh, he no, got hit. No. No, 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 no. Boy, you hope it's not a serious injury. So 7-2, to two, he's going to come out of the game. Here is Moreno, who has grounded out twice and walked. Moreno hits a high fly ball to left field. That one's going to the wall, and it's gone. Gabriel Moreno, his seventh. And the Diamondbacks aren't done yet. Two outs, now the Diamondbacks down to their final swings. Down the line and left, long run over for Hayes. He makes it there, and the Orioles rebound with a 7-3 victory. And the Orioles even the series at a game apiece.